Okay. So, okay. Then I didn't say that much, so I just don't think. Um, so, we're continuing in the four lines off from the bottom, Yudal and Ramei. So, we're continuing the sugya of Avadim and what the sources are for for buying Avadim, selling Avadim. So, yesterday we said that there's Xer Shavah, Schir, Schir, right? Sochir, Sochir, actually. Because right? there's two types of Avadim. There's an Avid who sells himself because he needs the money. And then there's an Evid who gets sold by Bezdin because he's because he stole. So as his punishment, he has to get sold in order to pay it back. So those are the Tuli Mudu. So we said yesterday that, well, some sheet to say that they all have the same dinam, the same same halachas of, of a, a slave that gets sold by Bezdin is they're all the same halachas of a slave that sells himself. And then we had the sheet that no, they're all different halachas. So we thought maybe the Dad in the Machlaikas is Sachir Sachir. If you do, you hold it Xer Shava Sachir Sachir, or do you not hold it Xer Shava? Right? But then we said, no, we left over. Everybody holds of the Xer Shava. Everybody does not, I'm sorry, everybody holds of the Xer Shava. Right? But we're looking for a Shita that doesn't hold of it. But meanwhile, till we continue with that, the Gemara needs to go through why are there differences between, according to the Tanakama, why are there differences between a slave that sells himself and a slave that gets sold by Bezdin? Right, so four lines on the bottom, the Gemara starts, my time of the Tanakama, right, why does the Tanakama hold the Amar Meichar Akme Enenitza? That somebody who sells himself, right, does not get Nirza, meaning he doesn't have that option to bust a hole in his ear and work forever. Right? So the Tanakama says, um, right? It doesn't. It doesn't. It can't. It doesn't work on a guy who sells himself. Yeah. Again, my time at the Tanakama. So when it answers me, me and Rachmana Gabi Machru Bezdin. Since when it's by the by the Evid where it says Machru Bezdin, it says an exclusion. It says It says the master will bust his his. Uh, his ear with the uh, Marzea. It's only a guy who gets sold by Bezdin, but not a guy who sells himself. Now today's da. And what does the other sheet to do? The other sheet who holds that it does apply. What does he do with this? That's coming for Xer Shava. The Tanya. What's Xer Shava? How do you know? And when you're going to bust a hole in the in the slave's ear, it goes in the right ear. It says here, it says further, just like over there, it means the right ear. So, so too here, it means the right ear. How does the other sheet to know? So the one that says that uh, Evid that sells himself doesn't do the ear. So then how does he know he's just doing the right ear? Again, the Gemara just goes back and forth because if you hold a one, then you have to hold. If you hold of one limut, then you have to fill in. Then you have to fill it in with the other, right? So we go back and forth. So how does he know the right ear? Again, lema pro aizen my aznai. But then why does it say aznai? So that tells you two things: one, only the ear of somebody who gets sold in Bezdin, and two, it has to be the right ear. The idach, and what does he do with aznai? How we buy aznai v'lay azna. It means that you do this busting the hole in his ear. You don't do the busting the hole in a Amma's ear, in a maidservant's ear. And what is, how does the other one know that? Right? It says only an Evid, a male slave, not a female slave. And the other one says that he can't do the, he can't ask to have his ear busted until. He says that he is, um, he has to say it when he's still an Evid, right? Meaning, it, once he's after the six years, right? Now, an Evid is the maximum, is the, ma is the Evid maximum of six years. So once the six years is up, he can no longer do the busting of the ear. He learns that from Evid or Evid. Okay, what does he do with it? Evid or Evid like Darish. Evid or Evid, he doesn't touch him. Okay, so that's that's the back and forth. That's why there's a machlaikis, whether an Eved who sold himself voluntarily, whether he can do the busting the ear thing or not. Fine. 
Then the next case, my time on account of my atme ain't my nick in light. So we say, and and this this Gemara is interesting because um, you see that they did not mistreat the slaves. They didn't mistreat the slaves. If anything, the slaves was the, the slaves were treated maybe even better, or certainly on the equal of the I guess called the free people, right? My time of the Kama Kama Dharma, my Kama Dharma, you can like, how, why does the Kama Kama say that somebody who sells himself, you don't give him, you don't give him a presence when he, when his term is over, when his term of slavery is over, you're supposed to give him presence. The Kama Kama holds that you don't give a guy who sells himself presence. Me and Rahman are going to be my best. Where is the Havamina that we give a presence? I mean, I do a job, they don't give me nothing. I don't get paid. But where is the Havamina to give them presence? It's a Pusuk. It's a Pusuk. It's a Pusuk. It says, Hanik Tanik Loi. Right? Okay, okay. I think I think that's the part. Now, why? What's a shot in the post like that? I don't know. No. Did we lose to Yaakov again? No. I uh, hold hold on. So, oh. got my video. My video went off. Yeah, you're screaming. I don't know if I lost the audio. Okay, fine. So let's see. So again, my time that I come on my time to aim my nikkun light. Why that you don't you aim my nikkun light? Me eat mechmana kai mechuru bezdin because the Torah excluded him by the case of a slave that was sold by bezdin. Han nektanik loy says give him presents. Loy for loy la mecharatzmai only give the guy who bezdin sold, not to the seller. The idach omi bayle loy for loy liyarsho. He needs it to say him and not his yarshim, meaning if, the way Rashi says it, if they were not able to give the slave presents before he died, meaning after the six years was up, they say, you know what, we're going to send you presents. Then the guy dies. Okay, so now do his yarshim get the presents or not? So the Pasuk saying, loy v'loy li yarshim. Sigmar says, yarshim am I loy? Why shouldn't they, why shouldn't they inherit his presents? Here, Kari Rahmana, he's called a schir, a worker. There you go, Rachman, right? Maschir pulase li yarshim. Maschir, his his pulase go to his yarshim. Af hai pulase li yarshim. So so to this guy, it should be considered part of his his work, and it should go to his yarshim. Why are you saying that a slave who's owed presents and then he dies? Why shouldn't they go to his kids? Ella loy v'loy l'bal chayvoi goes to him and not to his bal chayv. Meaning, so yarshim will get it. But if he owes somebody money, that guy can't come and collect the the money from from him. Meaning what? Because we normally go like Reb Nosson to Tanya. How do you know that somebody is owed money who has a ton of money against his friend? And it's the friend and his friend. How do you know that you take money from this one? And you give to this one. It says, So, so come lie to exclude it. I mean, normally we call that's called Shibuda de Ramnasin, right? If I owe somebody money and that somebody owes somebody else money, so meaning that third party can come straight to me and take the money and skip the middle guy. Because if I owe, one guy money and that guy owes the other guy money. So that means I really owe the third guy money. So that's normally that's the way we pass in that you could do that. You could jump the middle guy. However, by the Evid, you can't. So meaning if the Evid owes somebody money. You mean a lien? Is it like it's a lien? It's not a lien. No, it's not a lien. It's a straight. It's let's say I owe you money, Simon, and Simon, you owe Landau money. Right? So Landau comes to me and takes takes the money from me and says, skip Simon. Right? That's called Shibuta the Ramnasan. Ravar, Ravar, and Ravar, and that, that that's you, maybe he's called he was called Reb Nosson because it was Nosson Nosson to this one Nosson to that one the Shibu the Reb Nosson very good yeah, oh, very good. <laughs> I hear you very good okay Nosson Nosson to that okay very good dad dad jokes we have daily jokes that's awesome <laughs> there you go anyway so but the point is by an event we're not going to allow it.
Vidach, Baal Manami, Lysir, like Rav Nassim. The other Shita, what's he going to do with this? How's he going to know this? He says, I never hold a Rav Nassim. So it was never, it was never anything. Okay, my time at Anakama, the Amma, Amaycher, Atma, Ain Rabbi, Maitha, Le Shifcha, Kananis. What's the reason that Anakama says that Amaycher, Atma, his master does not give him a Shimcha Kananis, meaning there's a mitzvah to give the Ever a Shimcha Kananis, right? But not if the guy sells himself. So, according to the Tanakhama, the Midrachwana Gabi Machru Bezdin, because the Torah the, excludes it by the case of selling the Bezdin. Now, do you know, if his, if his boss gives him an Isha, you only give it to him, an Ebed that Bezdin sold, but not to the Moicharatzmai. The Idach, Loi, Bal Karchoi, means you can give him a, a Shifcha Kananis. Baal Karchoi, even against his will, you can you can give him a shivka kananas. He learns it out from it says Mishnah Schar Sokhir, double the Schar of a Sokhir. What does that mean? The Tanya, Ki Mishnah Schar Sokhir, Avotcha, right? Because he works for you. He did double work for you. He worked double for you. Schir ena Ivan Elabiyim. A Schir only works during the day. Evid Ivri, hence Rachamim is on the daf, right? Evid Ivri, Evid Beimah Yom Beimah Laila, right? And Evid Ivri works side during the day, side at night. V'chisal al ta'itcha she Evid Ivri, Evid Beimah Yom Beimah Laila. Do you really think that Evid Ivri works, whether it's during the day or whether it's at night? But like Kfar Nemar, ki toiv lai, ki toiv lai imach, that he's good with you. We mean im imach, v'maychol imach, v'mishta, you have to feed the Evid, this is what we were saying before. You have to treat the Evid like a regular free person, right? Imach b'maychol, imach b'mishta. Or Yitzchak Mikan, Sharabai Moisa le Shivka Kananis. From here we learn that a master gives can gives over a Shivka Kananis, meaning just like a free person has the right to get married to so to him. So that's what we learn. Free person can marry a Shivka. No, but he has an option to get married. That's a right. He at least has that. Uh, but right. this guy has it. Could have a Jew has a Jewish wife already. It could be. I. I and, and this only this this is the, the what kind of is this for the Evid besides maybe besides Tashmish, but the, the, because the kids the kids belong to the Adon anyway. Right. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That <laughs> yes. If any, it's also it's a win win. Okay. No. I'm saying the guy gets more kids and he gets he gets his relations and uh no I don't know how yeah. it works if the guy comes in with his own wife I'm not sure Stamazai inevitably goes and, and gets sold his wife comes with him I, 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 don't, I don't know I don't know it's not like Gullis. Oh, I don't think so I don't know does he have to sleep in the guy's property it sounds like that from this Gamora yet no He's not a living Evid. He, he's a what? He's not a living Evid. That's what yeah. I'm. From here, it sounds like he's a living Evid. No. If he's not a living Evid, you what do you got to give him your pillow for? If he's not a living Evid. Let him go home and eat supper. I don't know. I'm not sure how it works. I'm almost don't. I don't know how it works. Is it optional? Is he required to? Yeah, I don't know. What were you saying, Rabban? I'm just saying, you're not going to believe today, today's Wall Street Journal. I just remembered, as you said it for the second time, to have an article starting on page one about a sperm donor who has 92, who's fathered 92 children. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and they're going after him? For, for no, he's, looking, he's, right. he's actually looking for them. This summer, he quit his job. He has he made a lot of money in tech, and he's look. That's what he's doing. He's looking them up because they now it's a lot easier than it used to be to look these kids up. So he contacts the parents if they want him to see whatever. Yeah, that's that's uh, yeah okay. That's a little crazy. <laughs> I was just gonna say it, Madna. <laughs> very Madna. No, I'm just yeah. saying this, this that you're giving the evidence. You give him the shift could have belong to the to the Balabas. The kids born to the Balabas, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The Edoch, okay. Ime Hassam, 
if we were learning out from over there, we were taught that's only if he if he does, if he takes the Shifcha Kananis on his own das, but who says you can force him to take a Shifcha Kananis? Kamash Malan, the Pasuk is telling us that you can you, you can force him to take a Shifcha Kananis. Mustafa, that's the reason, right? Because he wants to have more, more Avadim, I would think. Okay, fine. So that's that's how we explain the Machlaikas between whether, between the opinions of whether a, the halachas are the same for an Eved who sells himself and an Eved who who uh, gets sold by Bezdin. Fine. So now we're back going now back to the previous Amud. So who's the Tana that doesn't learn out the Gzair Shava of Sochir Sochir? Okay, so now says, And he goes back to his, his family. I just don't about by Yoival. By Yoival, you know, just the same way all land goes back to its original, original owners. It's the same thing by Avadim. Right? So, I'm a Rebbe Lazar ben Yaakov, but me'a kosa medaber. What's the Pasuk talking about? Even Meicher Atzmai. Right? So, if he sold himself, Harei Kfar Amor. We already said that. That he goes he goes out by Yoival. Even Nirza, and if we're talking about somebody who, who uh, you know, to poke the hole in the ear, we also said that. Must be talking about somebody who Bezdin sold him two or three years before Yoival. Yoival makes him makes him uh, go out. Meaning Yoival makes him go free. And if you think that we learn out that we compare the Eved who's sold by Bezdin to the Eved who's a volunt- who voluntarily sells himself. Lamali, what do I need this Pasuk for? Nail of Sochir Sochir. So it must be that this Tam Tana doesn't hold of Sochir Sochir. Therefore, he needs a different Pasuk to teach us that a guy that gets sold from Bezdin within two to three years of Yaival goes free. So when it says, no, Amar Avram, what do you Yal of Sochir Sochir. No. Really, he does hold of Sacher Sacher. Okay, so why does he need another pasuk for? Bitzer Sacher died. I mean, a Meicher Atzmai who the lie over his Torah. A Meicher Atzmai didn't do an Isser. so therefore he goes free at Yovel. He didn't do an Isser. What Isser did he do? That he's poor and he needs to sell himself? Okay, no Isser in that, right? I will machru Bezdin to over his Torah, but if a guy gets sold by Bezdin, that means he did an Isser. Ama Niknas say, so why don't we say that we're going to give him a knast and therefore he doesn't go free by Yaival? Kamash Mulan, the Pasuk is telling us that he does. Why don't go, we make a Tabachimer from Nirza? Why don't we make a Tabachimer from Nirza? Yeah. Nirza goes out, and that's whether it's Meicher Azmoy or Mahu Bazdan, and then Kolshikain, somebody who wasn't Mahu. Because maybe, the Gemara is saying that is the way Avadi Sura, but we see Machur Vezdin is Avadi Sura, and by Nirza, you, which is even worse, because Machur Vezdin and you did Nirza, you go free. So Polish can somebody who didn't, who didn't do uh, Nirza, right? I hear. Unless you say that you didn't. Yeah, yeah, Nirza had a side chomer by it. This guy was he he, he wanted himself. To go so, and yet the Torah already said that you went free. We just said before, Harik Far Amr. Right. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know if you can make that cover. I, I, I don't know. I hear what you're saying. Well, anyone's allowed to make a cover. <laughs> it's just not no, true. I, that's true. Correct. <laughs> yeah. It's good. I hear. All right. Let's see. Bye. So, Amar Mar. Yeah, so Ibn Nirza Hare Kfar Amor. If it's all about a Nirza that he goes free by Yoiva, we already said it. Maihi. Where do we already say it? The Tanya Vishavtim Ish Elahuza Soy Vish al Mishpahtoi. Everybody a man goes back to his every man gets back his his land, and every man goes back to his family. Which what what are we talking about here? Ibe Maikar Atma, if we're talking about the guy who sells himself, Hare Kfar Amor. He already says it. Even Machru Bezdin Harei Kfar Amor, it already says that. So I ain't a cousin of Amor, but near to Shnei Veshalishanu Vefnei Yoyvel, Shnei Yoyvel Maitzia. It's coming to tell you that 
a nirza who who got his ear busted two to three years, meaning obviously means anything less than six years, before Yaival, that Yaival still takes him out, even though he didn't work for six years. Okay, my mashma. Where is a mashma that, um, how do you know that one is talking about a nirza and one is talking about uh, um, a guy who sells himself? It says ish. What's something that's naive by a man and not by a woman? That's Ritzia. Ritzia can only happen to a man. Women do not, Amavriya does not, cannot do the busting of the air. Right? So therefore, that, so the, the one of the ish must be referring to the one that could be with a man, which means Nirza. And we need to say that Bezdin, uh, we need to say that the one that, that was sold by Bezdin also goes out by Yoival, the Itzrich Lemich of Nirza, and we also need to say Nirza. Why do you need both for? The Ashmina Machru Bezdin, if you just learn out Machru Bezdin, from the Malay Matai Zmane, because he, his, his man didn't come yet, I meaning he was sold by Bezdin. That means it's a six year. Uh, Six-year sentence, right? Avol nirtza the matoy zmane, but a nirtza who his zman reached a manignase. So why don't we say we should give him a class, right? Um, but yeah, so that's why we need to say that pasuk. I mean, that's why we need to say about a nirtza, right? Viyash um, mean a nirtza, and if it says nirtza mishum da avad leishesh, because he already did his six years. But the Mahru Bezdin, who didn't yet work for six years, didn't have a sentence yet. So maybe you'd say he doesn't go free. So Tzricha, so therefore we need both Psokim. We need both to say, to be said. And we also need to say that he goes free, he goes back. Right? And we also have to say that that the Nirza has to work forever, meaning forever till if you just said la'ilam without the shaftim, you would think, oh, it says la'ilam, he works forever. So even past, even past uh, yoyvel, right? So because of the shaftim, it says the shaftim, then he goes back at yoyvel. And if the Torah says the shaftim, have a mina hanim, the that's only where he didn't he didn't work for six years. But where he did work for six years, right? So it's the soif, the end, shouldn't be more chamer than the beginning. Just like the tchila, meaning when he was first sold, goes for six years. So too, by the nirza, which is the second sale, that's when they bust his ears, would also be six years. Kamash Malon La'ilam tells you now it doesn't go for six years. It goes for till Yaimel. Right? La'ilam La'ilam Yishel Yaimel. It goes forever to Yaimel. The one thing here is like, okay, so meaning every every uh, portion of slavery is six years. Okay, so he sold himself for six years. now, Or or he was sold by Bez in six years. And now he wants another six years. Okay, he wants to do Nirza. So you would think, okay, so Nirza is till... Um, Nirza is until another six years. So that's what we're saying. No, it doesn't. It means it's all the way until Yaival. Fine. So we still, with all these psukim back and forth, we still don't have an opinion that says that we, that we have Beferish that says that we don't learn out the Gzeir Shava of Sachir Sachir. Fine. Elaman Tana Dela Yola Sachir Sachir. Who is the Madura that says we don't learn out Sachir Sachir? Rebbe. It's going according to Rebbe. The Tanya on the Bebeis now. Vim La Yigal. Be'ela, right? Meaning if he was not revealed, this is talking about a, an Eved who was sold to a guy. Till now we're talking about where the boss is a Yid. Now we're talking about where the Eved is sold to a guy. So if you go Be'ela, if he wasn't redeemed by these people, so then he goes out by Yoival. So now who's the, these? The Rebbe Yoival Be'ela, who Nigal? They nigal b'sheish. He goes out with these, meaning for the, if these people redeem him, then he goes out. They nigal b'sheish, but he doesn't go out by six years. The Yochav Aloy didn't, because you would think it's a kavachaymer. Mami she'en a nigal be'ela. 
somebody who can't be redeemed by these, right? What's that talking about? That's talking about a yid. That's talking about the, where a yid is the boss. So where a yid is the boss, the relatives cannot come and bail him out. When the guy is a boss, there's a mitzvah for the relatives to come bail him out. When he's owned by a yid, they cannot bail him out. He has to bail himself out, right? So again, somebody who can't be redeemed by these guys, meaning by his relatives, but he goes out by six years. So this one, meaning a guy, an evid that's owned by a guy that could be redeemed by these guys, isn't it a kavachaymer that he could be redeemed with, with the six years? So that's what the word Baal is coming to tell us. Baal o nigal. He could be redeemed with these guys, but he does not, by his relatives, um, getting him out, but he's not nigal b'sheish. It's Yavah, what's the difference? Why would he be able to be, meaning the Torah says the guy has to follow Yavah, and he's, he's nigal b'yavah, but he's not nigal b'sheish. Like, what's... Right. Why is there such a enough gemina between, like, sheish? If, if he has to follow Yavah, why wouldn't he have to follow the sheish that we see the Gave? I don't know. It seems like it's based on the... Say, yeah, it's hard to understand. Like, why should it be rougher on you if you're sold to a guy than if you're sold to a yid, right? Right. I don't know. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the... Clearly, he's following the, the terror. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a Yavah, and, you know, we wouldn't. you can't force a guy to do something if he's not in there to throw. Right, Same. so that's true. So that's going to be on the top of the next stuff. Like, are we talking about yidin that are under our control, not under our control? Okay, so let's see. All right? So again, but the bottom line is, like what Akiva said, is, is that, I mean, what that's correct, that a guy, if a yid gets sold to a guy, he does not go out by sheish. He goes out by yoyvel, not by sheish. Kavachimah would have taught you, thought that you would have thought yes, but with the Pusik's telling you not. Right? He doesn't go out in six years. If you older, you learn how to say a shavah sachir sachir. Am I coming from my mishain and nigel beila? What are you saying? Somebody who was not nigel beila, nay left sachir sachir. Why don't you just learn out sachir sachir? Right. Right. So that meaning, why can't you learn out sachir sachir? That. Um, that you could redeem, a re I'm sorry, relatives could redeem their their uh, their their relative who's a slave to a yid. Meaning, there's two things I should have pointed out before. Two things that we're learning out here: that when you sold to a guy, it's either six years or yaival, and that's it. Or the relatives can get you out at any time. And when you sold to a yid, it's it's six years. I'm sorry, did I say six years by a guy? I'm sorry, that's wrong. Again, yeah, I apologize. If you, when you when a yid is sold to a guy, there's no six years, but there is yoyvel, and relatives can be paid to him. When it's sold to a yid, there's there is six years, but relatives can't be paid to him. So why can't you learn out sachir sachir that relatives should be able to be paid to him? The Elamite Gemara doesn't learn. That it must be that we don't learn the gezer shava of sachir sachir. Fine. Summer of Nachman by Yitzchak, Lailam Yala sachir sachir. No. We could learn out Tzachir Tzachir. V'shani Yacha, v'hir is dimmit, Amar Kro, yigalenu, l'zeh, v'loi l'acher. Right? He says you should redeem him. This guy, right? He, meaning the guy that stole to a guy, and loi l'acher, not to somebody else. Right? And the Gemara asks, Ma Tana, the Polygale, the Rebbe, who's the Tana that, that disagrees with Rebbe? Right? Because Rebbe holds, that um, a guy that owns an Eved can only be redeemed with relatives and not in the sixth year. So who's the one that disagrees with Rebbe? Rebbe says, "Agli the Rebbe Kiva, the Tanya lo yigal be'ela." It says the pasuk, "Don't be redeemed with these ones." Rebbe says, "Agli the Ayra be'ela the Shechur." Right when he gets redeemed by these guys, he goes free. Right, but he doesn't have to. Meaning the relatives come and redeem the guy. So now maybe he's got to work for the relatives. So we're saying no, right? The Sharkal Adam, the Shibud. But if anybody else bails him out, then they then this guy has to work for them. Right? Rebekiva Rebekiva says, Ba'ela le Shibud. He's his Meshubba to these guys. The Sharkal meaning to his relatives. The Sharkal Adam le 
But if anybody else, strangers, redeem him, then he is, then he goes out free. He does not have to work for them. Right? Meaning it's just a matter of who Yutashing Ela is referring to, relatives or not relatives. Okay. So my time is Rabbi Yossi Glili. Why does what does Rabbi Yossi Glili say that um, he has to he goes free from relatives, but if if strangers redeem him, then he has to he has to work he has to work for the strangers. So Amakra imla yigal ba'ela. You're not going to be yigal ba'ela ela ba'achet. And he works and he's going to work for somebody else for yatsa b'shnasa yovel. And he goes b'shnasa yovel, right? If he's only going to work for these, if he's only going to be redeemed by these guys, right? Meaning, when the relatives give bail him out, then he has to work with them till yovel. But if anybody else does it, then not. Okay. The way Rabbi Yosef Lili dashes it, he's sticking the word Ella in there, but it doesn't say the word Ella. The one that answers, Ella, Baha'i Kroy Kamilu. So we're now, we're saying we're, they're not disagreeing with that. They're disagreeing on a different different one. Ay, dai, dai, ay, ben, dai, dai, yigalanu. Right? If his, dai, his uncle, or if a ben, dai, his cousin, redeem him. Ze, geulas, kroyvim. That's talking about relatives, obviously. Ay, siga, yadai. Or if his hand reaches, meaning he gets to it. Ze, geulas, atzmai. That's if he was masig, if he got to... He got money himself, and he was able to redeem himself. Venigal and Venigal zukula sacherim. That's zukula sacherim. So basically, the Gemara is saying that there's three ways to be redeemed. There's relatives, himself, or strangers. Right. So that's that's those are the three madrigas. So how so what's the machlekes? We darshan the pasuk for the for the the middle pasuk goes on the pasuk kafur. And we throw the literal translation. We throw. We put the geulas, the kraven, when the the kraven bail him out. We put them next to the when he bails himself out. Obviously, when a guy bails himself out, he goes free. So avgulas kraven l'shichur. So when when relatives redeem him, they he also goes out for free. We dash in the pasuk for the next pasuk. Right? You put the gula sacherim onto the gula of himself. Ma gula sacherim, the shikhrer, just like the gula of himself goes for shikhrer. Av gula sacherim, the shikhrer. The so to the gula sacherim goes free, but not for his relatives. Okay. The yachi be'ela lamali. Then what I need the word be'ela. So Sigmar answers, Ila be'ela, have me no mikra nidush pein lafana bein lachra. We wouldn't have said the word be'ela, so now I would think that the pasuk gets dashed before, but i sorry, both before and after, and it means they all all bailouts have the same status. I call the shikhr and they all go free. So therefore, we needed to say be'ela. Hold on a second. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. What happens when people double park people in whatever town that I'm in? <laughs> um, I was not talking about myself. So, anyways, so, so then the kasha goes back, right? Meaning, if you, then what are you going to do with the word Ayla? There's nothing really to do with the word, the word Ayla. Ayla is coming to tell you that we dash and everything. So, if so, so then. Um, then you're going to look now that it goes out for for uh, only the relatives goes out, makes them go out for free, and that's it. Okay, so um, you know that's a little bit confusing there. Ella, Isvaro Kamifli, they're having a machlokis by Isvaro, right? Rabbi Yosei Aglili Savar, finally get up as Isvaro. Rabbi Yosei Aglili Savar, Mistavra, Gula Sacherim, Lashibur. The geula of others is a shibud, right? The yamrit, meaning if somebody else, uh, the relative, other than relatives, come and are paid to him, then l'chayra, they're going to want to get them something in return for their money. Right? You're going to come to a guy and say, 
can you give us money to redeem this time? And he said, well, can you work for me? Right? So say about it. Say you can work for him, right? If you're just going to say that he's going to go for the shikhr, have a mimni for like parkulay. Nobody, everybody's going to stay away, and they're not going to be paid in. Rabbi Kiva Savar, so that's what Rabbi Yosef Glili holds. Rabbi Kiva Savar, Mestav Ragul is crying the shibud. The relatives are going to want him to work for them. The Amr the Shechra. If you're going to say that the relatives have to redeem him, and they go out and he goes free, call Yom Yom Azul Maz Menafshe. So the guy's going to be a smart guy, right? Anytime he needs money, right? Anytime a guy needs money, he's just going to sell himself. And he say, oh, my relatives will bail me out. Then I go free, and then the next day he needs more money. He sells himself again, and then the relatives are gonna bail him out again. Right? So that's that's the machlekes in Rabbi Yisai Glili and Rabbi Kiva of whether the guy was bailed out by relatives has to work for the relatives. It's just based on a svaro. Right? So Amar Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Rabbi Yechon, and Zudi Rabbi Yisai Glili, Rabbi Kiva. That's Rabbi Yisai Glili, Rabbi Kiva. Avachacham Ma'im Rabbi Hakol LeShichur. Anybody who redeems an eved. He goes out for, to free. Man chachamim, who's the chachamim? Rebbe, Rebbe, he, it's Rebbe, the mapik le lahai be'ela le drashta achrina. He uses this word be'ela. Right? That's how we got into this whole thing, that the extra word be'ela. He says the word be'ela is for another drasha. U mikra nidrash bein lefanov, bein laacharov. And we darshan the pasuk for the psukim before and the psukim afterwards. Right? Okay. So we're asking Rebbe, hai v'yotza b'shnasa yeva mai avidle. What does Rebbe do with the Vyatza Bishnasa Yoival? Right? So, what does he do with that? So, he needs it. The Gedatanya Vyatza Bishnasa Yoival says he should go. He goes out in the Yoival year on Tom and Aleph now. And this was what Akiva was referring to before. I don't know if he was referring to it, but that's what this talks about. When we're saying that he goes out in Yoival, we're talking about it. When the Goyim are under our hands, meaning the Yidin are in charge, right? And the Pasuk's telling you, if nobody bails out this Evid, then he goes out by Yoival. Maybe that's only by a guy who's not under our hands, right? And only then is does he go out by Yoival. So we say, What are you doing to a guy? I mean, what do you mean? How can you control a guy who's not when the guy are not under our control? It has to be that the Pasik is talking about like, when it's some other guy who's under your hand. Right? And the only way to get him free is you can't pull shtick. If a guy buys an Evid, um, you can redeem him or you can wait till till uh till Yoival. Okay. I hope that it was semi understandable. As I'm reading it, sometimes I I understand it, sometimes I don't. But whatever. Can I ask? Anyways, can you ask a stupid question? Is that what you asked? Yeah. How does it help? You're being paid to somebody who's going to work for you. On his end, how does that help him? What does he care? Who he's working for? He's still working for you. Still, I mean, he's still in heaven. Because parents, if he works for you, he gets fed well. I understand, but I'm saying the guy's miserable in his job, so there's a corporate takeover, and now he doesn't work for that. He's still miserable. I mean, what's the point of being paid to him? I, I was um, curious about that because why would that be a ghoul? You're right. I, I, it's like he goes from one Sheba to another Sheba. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Is that, is that something that's a great that, question, bro. It's a guy, is it, or it's not even talking about that? Talking about the, right. his uncle bought him from another year. See, I wasn't sure. It was like a machlaikis. No? It's a machlaikis whether you can bail him out from, from another year, right? I it really wasn't clear. Right? Um, if my brother would bail me out, I would be Meshuba till the oil for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, I, I thought the goal was only from a guy, someone sold to a guy. The Spashtas is the goal is only from a guy, that's, not from yeah, a year, but that's what I was asking. That's how I, yeah, no, 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 Avi, you were right, you were right, but that's 
But there's a sheet. Didn't we have a sheet of tonight that it came out that a yid could be redeemed? Was out just a havamina? Yeah, I saw that also. Why is that like I learned Nelas Sachir Sachir right? Right. If you learned out Sachir Sachir, then the Gemara asks, then you should be able to redeem even from a yid. So we said must be he doesn't hold of Sachir Sachir. Right. Right, the Maskana Sadvarim is that you're not allowed from a, from a Yid, only from a guy. Yeah. That's only yeah. Rebbe. Wasn't there also a Shita that if a family redeems him, it doesn't work for them? Didn't we have that also? That's, That's one Shita. Like yes. Right. So even if you hold it, you could redeem from a year for a year. Maybe he hold the one that holds it. You could. No redeem one holds you. That was the kavuchaim. That was only half. Okay. Three lines down and on the base.